issues, but in this one issue, many people are happy to, to uh, go online and fill out the forms. Uh, of those 1,600, we had a good breakdown on the ages as well. So we were trying to, in doing that, we were trying to get uh, data on whether or not we would have useful information on the actual survey questions. So what we found was there was a good breakdown. Young people, middle-aged people, old people, they all voted, and so we felt we could use the information that came out of the survey and have rely on it to make policy. And so uh, some of these specific questions were, do you support retail cannabis sales in Saugeen Shores? And 81% of people said yes, they support them. Some had some reservations or conditions that attached, but nevertheless, 81% of people wanted to see uh, retail cannabis stores in Saugeen Shores. Uh, another question was, of the concerns that you have, what are the types of concerns? And so visual uh, exposure, proximity to youth and at-risk populations, uh, safety, security. We were trying to collect some uh, intelligence on that uh, on that front. Uh, we had information on whether uh, people should be consuming or permitted to consume cannabis on public lands or on certain areas in town, so we got answers on those. And so all that information is in that report. I just had it off the top of my head, I can't think of any more. That's, that's fine. Right. But you all, it was also indicated in the report that we're going to follow the uh, alcohol rules that we have. Yeah. So to me, that means there would be no consumption of uh, marijuana in public lands or private lands for that matter. Yeah, so alcohol, you are allowed to consume alcohol, of course, in private residence or in licensed facilities. Uh, in Saugeen Shores, what we want to make sure is that uh, whatever policy or uh, law that we develop is that we're keeping it simple and straightforward. So choose to either regulate it as tobacco, in which case you can't smoke tobacco in a lot of places, uh, or choose to regulate it like alcohol. And if you choose to regulate like an alcohol, you would, that would mean you couldn't consume it on the beach. You couldn't consume it uh, on the you know, um, in the lot here at the arena, except with uh, beyond 90 years, etc. Or in you know, alcohol at all, you can't have any, I guess. I was talking about not the, not the tobacco, but anyways. Yeah. Okay, um, so does that, no, uh, uh, the harmonizing, just very quickly, because I'm going to get a comment from the mayor, but right. the harmonizing of the law, good idea? Yes, in, in absolute terms, it's a good idea. Like, there's not many issues where uh, harmonization always makes sense, but in this case, I can say, like, with 100% certainty, if you're driving uh, from here to Walkerton and we find out that you, in Walkerton you can't, you can't consume cannabis in one location, but in Saugeen Shores you can, it's very confusing for the, for, the, for the person that wants to do that. So uh, it's important that we, as in a larger region as possible, try to get some consistency, and so we're going to work with our partners to come up with something that we can all agree on. Okay.